Too Fast, Too Fierce came out back in 2003. Stars Paul Walker, Tyrese Gibson, Cole Hauser, Eva Mendez, and Ludacris. And it tells the story of former cop Brian O'Connor teaming up with Roman Pierce to take down evil Miami drug lord Carter Barone. This is my first viewing of this film. I went in with zero knowledge of the plot. I knew that it was only Paul Walker this time around. I knew that Vin Diesel did not return for the sequel. And I was just expecting to have a good time. I can't say I had the best time, but this is a dumb, schlocky, mindless movie that doesn't set out to break any new boundaries. It just wants you to have fun, and it's very easy to have fun. The car races, what you came for, are schlocky, mindless fun. You really... There's bad CGI, nothing spectacular yet again, but these movies are just to end, are here to entertain. And you have your cheesy ass dialogue. Some lines hit, most of them don't. Little to, there are very, very few that do hit, but, and honestly, Tyrese Gibson has probably some of the best lines in the movie, as well as Ludacris. They really are the levity of the film and they really bring the comedy that you want in these schlocky dumb movies uh, not all the lines hit but Ludacris and Tyrese Gibson have the funniest lines and they really are charismatic actors and they did a good job in the film unfortunately Paul Walker lost his charisma in this one I felt that he lost a bit of his touch in the first and second act. Towards the third act, he does really start to kick it up a notch and actually start does have. It feels like he you're, he's having more fun than he did in the first and second act. He didn't. It felt like he was just reading the lines on the paper. It felt like he was just reading what was on the script and not really bringing any joy to the character. I think that. What worked so well about the first film was him and Vin Diesel's chemistry with one another. But now that you don't have Vin, Vin Diesel in this film, you kind of, you lost that. I just felt that he was a little bit off in the first and second act. So that kind of dragged the film down a little bit more for me. But towards the third act, he does seem like he actually is having fun with the schlocky action scene. Some slow scenes in the second act, it doesn't really know where it's going and it kind of loses its footing. I wish it was cut up a little bit more so it would just continue moving at a brisk pace. But aside from that second act, it's a really fast moving movie that doesn't really have time to slow down, no pun intended. It's dumb, mindless entertainment that doesn't go for anything extravagant and it's not a step up from the first one the first one is pro is the better movie in my opinion but if you're looking for a good time this is what you want to go see i hope that it gets a little bit more over the top and i heard that it does in the later films so I'm excited for it to go more over the top because that's when it, where it really shines, when it really just goes over the top and is action and just has a fun time. That's what you want to see. And that's what I found was the most enjoyable parts of these first two movies. Key mindless entertainment movie scenes are the scenes that you want to see. And when these movies have those scenes, that's when it's at its best. When it kind of takes itself a little too seriously, that's where it kind of it kind of shoots a little too high and doesn't really know where to go. I think it just needs to stay with its fun, mindless entertainment genre that it's going for. I'm gonna give Too Fast, Too Furious a D plus. Like I said, a step down from the first movie, definitely it's not great cinema, but if you're looking for fun car racing entertainment, this is the one that you probably will enjoy more than the first one, surprisingly. But 
the first one is just a better movie as, as a whole. And I'm looking forward to checking out the other films. Guys, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, do give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Look forward to my review of Spiral coming this weekend, as well as Those Who Wish Me Dead. I'm very looking forward to checking out those films, and I'm excited to review them for you guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching. My name is Ben, people call me Meter, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.